Good morning and welcome to this morning's edition of Michael's Fat Farm Marina. We've got a flat tire on my 21 foot trailer. As you can see right here, let's see if we can get this thing to work. Right there, you can see that that thing is pretty gnarly. I uh, sat out all winter in my lean-to, uh, pulled it out yesterday, realized the tire was flat. Fortunately, I bought two new tires. Today, I'm going to show you how I mount tires. And we're going to put uh, brand new tires on the old rims. I don't really care what the rims look like. The tire is the important part. As long as the rim's round and not bent up and not too rusty, let's just put a new tire on it. This thing is to get my boat to and from the water. What do I care if it's pretty and chrome and shiny? Shiny don't get you there. Shiny don't get you home. A good tire and good wheel bearings will. Uh, if you watch my other videos on how to repack wheel bearings, I'll be doing that to this today as well. I won't be videoing that though, since I've already got one of that particular process. So enjoy what I'm going to do today. I've got a busy day ahead of me. i got to paint one rim that's pretty rusty before I put a, make a spare tire out of it for my other trailer. But... Uh, it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, here's a, here's a, a, what kind of shape this particular tire is in. It's kind of rough. Now, one thing I like to mention is that there's a tire code on every tire that tells you the age of the tire when the tire was made. Uh, these tires have been changing out of my trailers lately. Uh, they've been over 10 years old. 10 years old is a safety hazard on any tire, dry due to dry rot and any other kind of uh, problems that may occur with tires over time. So I would encourage you to check your tire age. If it's over 10 years old, put new tires on it. Why have a blowout on the road when, you don't, when it can be prevented? I'll do a quick walk around here. This is my next project boat. It's a 21 foot Starcraft. Uh, has an outboard, 85 horse outboard Mercury on it. Uh, bought it off a guy. It had a little fire in the motor, a little smoke come out of the wires. And, but it looks like it was all turned off in time and disconnected in time. I uh, should be able to repair it without too much issue. You can see it's a center console steer. The overall boat's in pretty good shape. Uh, not too many things I need to do to it. it. Has a bimini top on it already, which is nice for keeping yourself out of the sun. Uh, here's the other side. This tire has air in it. But it's going to get a new wheel or new tire as well. But uh, like I said, it's in pretty good shape. It's got already got a casting deck up front. I still got the cover over here. Uh, we may we may actually take this boat off of the trailer and repaint the trailer uh, just to keep the rust at bay. I'll probably pull the floor out of this boat as well and do like I did my other boat. Paint it with glove it. That seemed to do really well. I was out in the water for about six hours yesterday. And I didn't even have two cups of water in the boat. I'm going to say that's a success because it used to have a situation where 45 minutes in the water and I could pump out about a gallon and a half of water. So that's that's what's going on with this particular boat. It's going to be a fun project. It'll be one that four people can fish out of comfortably compared to my 18-footer. 18 18-footer, 18 about three is about max. They can fish comfortably out of it. So, let's get busy with that tire. Okay, on this tire, the bead's broken on one side and out the other side. Here's how I redneck break the bead on a tire. I use my old John Deere, or, or no, John Deere, my Jeep Gator, and I run over that board and it pops the bead. You gotta make sure the board doesn't touch the rim so you don't wanna bend your rim. Too complex, much too complex. Too complex, much too complex. Too complex, too, too, too complex. Too complex.
Okay, now that the bead's broken loose, you wanna, I got some Dawn dishwashing soap, it mixed pretty heavily with water here. I'm gonna soak the crap out of this thing. You want it to be soapy and soapy and slippery. Makes it easier for you. You can't use too much in my opinion. Once you got it soaked up, and we'll take our spoons here and push this down in the groove so you can lift this, lift this up so it's over. Work yourself around the tire just like that. like that you get the first half off. You soap up the other side and peel it off the same way. Just made in 2018. I'm gonna soap it up again. First, I'm gonna put a new valve stem in though. I have bought new valve stems.
was one. Oh, mercy. But I always win. around these tires to get them to swell out so that the beetle grab. I know it seems a little redneck but it's the way I roll. around the middle of the tire, get an even squeeze on it. Isn't that just easy peasy? Now what we need to do is top this off with the proper air pressure. What it says here. Uh, it's like 50 psi. Got a little ways to go. so far. Everything looks good. That's 40. Off of there, battle stand back on. It's ready to go back on my trailer. All right, folks, I'm sorry if I made that look easy. Sarcasm. That was a, a fight, and uh, I'm gonna do it two more times because I enjoyed that so much. You guys are probably saying, Why don't you just take that in and have somebody put it on for you? Well, I would, and I could, but every dollar I spend on things that I can do myself I can spend on fishing pole bait and other fishing apparel or fishing lures so get out there and do it yourself <laughs>